Hi guys, thanks for tuning in to the Scan Tool Network. In this video, we're going to be demonstrating the iCarsoft CR Pro Kit. Uh, we're in a Mini right now, but the process I'm going to show you is the same for any vehicle, really. Um, we have the ABS traction and uh, exclamation mark warning lights in this particular vehicle on the dashboard, so I'm going to show you how to diagnose that with this tool. And also, we'll get some live data from the sensors as well. Now, this tool is plugged into the other end of the diagnostic port via this cable. I'm going to put links to the genuine product, the official product, in the description below this video uh, the reason I do that is because there are fakes there are clones out there on the market so if you are interested in getting the genuine and official product then use those links that will take you to the official product okay so from the uh, the menu system here we'll click into diagnostics we need to find our manufacturer which is mini so it's second in the list here but I'll just show you for purposes of the video the different manufacturers that it will cover so you've got that screen there we've got the next screen then the next screen, the next screen, and the next screen. Okay, so we'll go to Mini. We'll select the automatically search, click on to manual, and then we need to find the ABS system, or in this case, ABS slash DSC system. So we'll click onto that, click onto read fault code, and we've got 480828A. That's the fault code. The description is wheel speed sensor, voltage supply, rear right. So that to us looks like there's a fault or a problem with the rear right ABS sensor. Um, it generally ties in, a fault like that would tie in with the ABS warning lights on the dashboard. Now, um, yeah, so it looks like an ABS sensor is needed. If you wanted to get a second opinion, um, what you can do is go to view data and go to wheel speed sensors and then these will give this screen will give you live information or live data from the ABS sensor so if you if you get the vehicle moving get the vehicle rolling what you'll find is that the sensors which are working will show real-time values and real-time numbers uh, when they will match the vehicle speed so if, you, if you're doing 20 kilometers per hour uh, the front right will say 20 and the other working sensors will do the same. If the sensor is faulty, if a particular sensor is faulty, then it will stay as zero. So we, if we drove this vehicle, we'd expect the wheels, sorry, the wheel speed rear right to stay at zero, but the other values would uh, move up and down. Now, if you're not confident on looking at the screen while you're driving, you can just hit F2 to record the data, then you can review it back once you've pulled over safely. So that is a way of doing it, but we're not going to drive the vehicle right now we know that the rear right ABS sensor is faulty so once we've put a new ABS sensor in it's just a case of going to clear fault memory that will clear the fault code off it will get rid of these warning lights here and it will bring the vehicle back to full health so that's just a quick demonstration of what the iCarsoft CR Pro can do it can do a lot more than what we've just showed you there but this video is really just the snapshot showing you the uh, the ABS and uh, ABS live data on a mini uh, countryman or any other mini really it doesn't really matter uh, but yeah so genuine and official product you know you're going to get that in the links directly below this video and uh, i hope this video has helped and given you a, a bit more of an indication of what this tool can do thanks for watching and i hope this helps